Hey everybody, uh, so I just got my Yeezy 2020 Vision hoodie uh, from Los Angeles Archive. Um, and I was a little spooked about getting it from Los Angeles Archive because a few months ago they were selling um, Dove hoodies um, that they were claiming were like real, like 2022, like real Dove hoodies. Uh, but people got them and there were quite a few differences from the original version. Um, and Los Angeles Archive's position was that they were like, um, just like a line that Gap produced uh, before that they hadn't released, uh, that they couldn't release because of what Kanye said in 2023 when they canceled the partnership. Uh, and so it was just like, they claimed it was unreleased Gap stuff, uh, but say what you will, people didn't get what they ordered and that sucked. So I'll, uh, this is my first time ordering from Los Angeles Archive. I was a little spooked, but it seems real. This seems like a real hoodie. This seems real. Um, I got it for $88.28. It was on sale and I also got free shipping. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, considering it retailed for $160, um, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, right now, uh, if you go to Los Angeles Archive, it's actually super on sale for Black Friday. You can get it for like 70 something dollars, and so it's a great deal. Um, but yeah, here it is. I got a large. I'm going to be putting it on, and I'm going to be comparing it to my other Easy Gap stuff, just for sizing purposes. Um, but yeah, so it's like it looks like this. Um, it's got the tag on the inside for Kanye 2020 vision and this is made in USA large um, something funny is you can actually see the tag on the back of the hood I think the reason why they sewed the tag on the back of the hood and not like the uh, interior of the hoodie here is because um, I, d I I think to sew it you have to have access to the other side of the of the textile of the like of the fabric um, but because it's double layered, they didn't have access to it. Um, and so on Yeezy Gap stuff, they do have the tag here, despite it being double layered, but the tag is screen printed and you can just do that on one side of the garment. Like you aren't, like you don't have to do on either side. So I think that's why it's on the hood. Um, but yeah, a couple of details that I like is, um, it's not entirely dry. I just got it out of the dryer. Something to, to do to keep in mind is how, because of how thick and heavy this hoodie is, um, you do have to put a few cycles in the dryer for it. Um, but yeah, so something I do like about this hoodie is you can't really see the stitching on that stitches the cuffs together. Like you can't, I don't know, you can't really see it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to put the hoodie on now. One sec. Uh, okay. So I'm six feet tall and about, um, 170 pounds and I, it, it fits like this. Like I'd say it fits pretty true to size. Um, I'm wearing weird clothes right now. Like when I'm outside, I wear jeans and I don't wear this shirt, so like it kind of fits weird. But uh, you know, it fits like this, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so it definitely fits true to size, which is cool considering how weird the sizing was on a lot of Easy Gap products. Um, it's super heavy, super thick, even heavier than my like Easy Gap hoodie. Um, here it is with like the hood on. Yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's really thick and warm, and the color's nice, and I'm happy with it. So yeah, I'm six foot, 170 pounds, and if it's like this on me, I would say if you're my exact height and weight and you want it to fit like this, get a large. Um, if you want it like oversized for some reason, get an extra large. Um, and if you want it to fit like the Easy Gap hoodie, get a medium, I guess. Um, the sleeves are considerably longer than the torso. Like they go down a lot further. Um, and yeah, it's just thick and heavy and uh, I like it. I'm gonna be putting on my Easy Gap hoodie now. One sec. So this is my Easy Gap hoodie that I've had for two years. It's definitely, uh, it's still a super heavy hoodie, right? It's still double layered and it's considerably pretty thick. Um, but it is like, when it's on your body, it does feel lighter. Um, this is an extra large in the Easy Gap hoodie. So keep that in mind, this is an extra large. So you can tell, because this is an extra large, it runs small. Like you can still, if I pull my shirt down, you can still see the shirt under the hoodie, you know? But yeah, this is an extra large in the Easy Gap hoodie. And then I'm gonna be putting on my, my Dove hoodie. So this is my large Dove hoodie. This is in the large size and it fits like this. You know, here it is with the hood. It's, it's cool, it's a cool hoodie. Um, but yeah, this is how it is when it's large, but do keep in mind, I do have uh, uh, safety pins here. So that's what's keeping me, my hands from being completely obscured like this. Um, yeah, and just for fun, I'm gonna put on my round jacket. And this is my Easy Gap Balenciaga uh, round jacket too. Uh, and this is also a large, so yeah. So um, I'm gonna put the hoodie, the, the 2020 Vision hoodie back on. Yeah, so this is back to the large Vision 2020 hoodie. And yeah, it fits like this. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm happy I got it for $88 instead of $160. Um, some fun facts is that this is the same hoodie that Kanye wore on Joe Rogan. Um, 
and yeah, uh, it's like considerably very heavy. It's the heaviest hoodie I own. Um, and it's actually quite funny because despite being uh, the newest item of clothing in my collection, um, it's actually the oldest item of clothing I own considering the Easy Gap hoodie came out in 2021 and the Dove hoodie and jacket came out in 2022. Um, but this came out in 2020, so this is the oldest hoodie I own. Um, it did just sort of come in like some packaging, like uh, the, the, the way it came was in like a bag, uh, but the bag just had the hoodie in it. Um, like there wasn't like a second bag that the hoodie was in and so there were a couple scratches um like bits where you could see the hoodie like through the bag uh, when it arrived at my door but it was okay i saw this when i was putting it on but i can't really see it now there's like a very small like green stain on it um a lot of los angeles archive stuff is like stuff that's like uh that wasn't that didn't pass the qa testing and uh didn't like wasn't retail released um, and so maybe that's something from that, or maybe that's something from there being cut in the bag. Uh, but other than that, like it's super high quality and I'm happy to say this doesn't feel fake. I, you know, it, it doesn't feel like a fake garment. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, and now I'm going to be talking about, uh, my past two days because I haven't recorded a, a video yesterday because I was, <laughs> it just didn't come up. And one sec, I'm sorry for any background noise. That's my parents show, but, um, uh, uh, what? So, so. Yeah, here's my day. Uh, so yesterday, um, well, I came home from school on t <clears throat> I came home from school on Tuesday uh, pretty late, so I ended up waking up um, Wednesday morning at like 9 a.m. Um, and so I brought my jeans to the tailor. You may notice my jeans are back here. I brought my jeans to the tailor um, to get a couple holes fixed, uh, but one of the holes like isn't large enough to be fixed. Like um, one of the holes is on the back pocket, and to fix the hole on the back pocket, um, they have to take the whole back pocket off, um, and they have to resew it back on. And so, um, and so something that, uh, they have to keep in mind is that, um, like it's entirely possible that the hole on the back pocket might just stop developing. Like maybe, cause I have my AirPods back there. Um, like maybe that's just the extra space my AirPods need and it might not grow anymore, but if it does bring it in again, um, like once it becomes a pretty considerable issue, then it makes sense to bring it in. But, uh, right now, considering just how difficult it is to repair that hole on the back pocket, um, it doesn't make sense to like do it now considering how tiny it is, but there was a hole in the crotch that was fixed. So they're at the tailor right now, like 18 bucks. Um, and, uh, what else for, uh, for, yeah. So yesterday for, I guess, breakfast, I had a, uh, banana and two pieces of pizza. Um, and then, uh, because so, so my buddy, I think he's in like Minnesota or some sort of flyover state. No offense to Minnesotans watching me. Um, he's like in Minnesota going to like a pretty nice college um or some weird state and uh uh so he comes into seattle every now and then uh just over breaks and stuff um to, to come say hi and school's over for him uh school's gonna be over for me in like a week and uh so so he came in and uh you know so everybody showed up to this party and that was pretty cool um and then we left and then we went to the park and then we went to another friend's house and that was pretty cool and I, we stayed there until like i want to say one or two a.m um, and then I came home and now here I am. Uh, I went to sleep at like five um, and I woke up at around one. So I'm truly living a degenerate life the past 24 hours, but it was pretty fun with my friends. You know, we had a good time. Uh, you know, nothing else is really going on um, for breakfast this morning. I guess I had a banana and uh, some leftover food that I got from the convenience store on the way home. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, this is the large Vision 2020 hoodie. Um, and, you know, I'm happy I own it. It's cool. It's a very nice hoodie. Uh, goodbye.